welcome back students today we are going to now we are, we are going to take the next type of problems type 7 to 12 problems which will involve multiplication and division transposition i will take step by step let me take you through the type 7 problems first now 5 into 7 what is 5 into dash equal to 3 that is you have to find this dash that is a missing number how do you find this so clearly by Looking into the tables, you know that this is nothing but 6. But the other way is, if you transpose multiplication to the other side, you will get division. That is, the unknown can be got by 30 divided by 5. Because when you are taking 5, it will become, multiplication will become division on the other side. That is 6. Similarly, when you take this, it will become 8. That is 48 divided by 8, that is 6. So here the same thing. Let me do this. 4 into dash equal to 20. So it will be 4 divided by 4. It is 5. 5. This divided by 2. 1. This divided by 7. 5. This divided by 3 will be 8. Very easy. Now, using the same concept, you can apply it in the first type of uh, linear equations. That is 9j equal to 72. 9j equal to 72. You can also imagine this like when you divide both sides by 9, you get j equal to 8. So, similarly, when you shift 9 this side, this will become division. So, j will be 72 by 9, that is 8. 8g equal to 24, take 24 by 8, that is 3. So v into 4 is 28, so v equal to 28 by 4, that is 7. k equal to 54 by 6, that is 9. u equal to 12 by 3, that is 4, u equal to 10 by 2, that is 5. Very easy to find the answer using this technique. Now coming to the next type of problems where you have division. As I have mentioned, in division, that is, let me take this as some unknown a equal to 8. So, you can just transpose this. When you transpose this, this becomes like for example, you can multiply both sides by A and this will become 16 equal to 8A because this gets cancelled and then A equal to 16 divided by 8 that is nothing but 2. So, similarly 16 by A equal to 8 so this goes here and this comes here 8. So, that's all. You change the places a equal to 2. 24 by a equal to 8. a equal to 24 by 8. That is equal to 3. So let me continue this. Equal to 2. Plus a equal to 14 by 2, 7. 40 by a equal to 8 a equal to 40 by 8 that is equal to 5 12 by a equal to 2 implies a equal to 12 by 2 that is 6 6 by a equal to 1 a equal to 6 by 1 6 so using the same question now you can do type 10 problems which are based on the same concept 64 by n equal to 8. So now interchange. So 64 divided by 8 equal to n implies n equal to 8. 24 by k equal to 3 implies k equal to 24 by 3. That is 8. So now 
using the same thing 16 by j equal to 4 interchanges so you have 16 by 4 equal to j j equal to 4 30 by t equal to 5 interchanges t equal to 30 by 5 that is 6 s equal to 35 by 7 5 n equal to 54 by 6 that is 9 so very easily we can answer this question using transposition now coming to the next type of problems that is a divided by 9 equal to 9 the unknown i am writing it as a so clearly when you transpose this this goes becomes multiplication that is into 9 that is 81 Again here into 5 it becomes 35 into 3 15 into 7 is 91 into 4 32 into 10 20 600 so very easily you can solve the problems in this type now coming to the next type where the linear equation will be involved g by 3 equal to 4 multiply g will be 3 into 4 that is 12 r equal to 7 into 5 that is 35 g by 4 equal to 1 imply g equal to 4 into 1 that is 4 b by 4 equal to 5 implies b equal to 5 into 4 that is 20 a by 2 equal to 9 implies a equal to 18 c equal to 9 into 8 you can just answer it by observing 72 so thank you students now you can practice the questions which are given in your worksheets thank you